My budget is a personal budgeting company and what we ultimately do is help people to unleash their full financial potential. When I was growing up I was always very driven and very focused but I didn't know exactly what it was I was going to do when I finished school. I saw people that were struggling with their finances so I looked around to see who I could refer these clients to and there wasn't anyone. Before we joined my budget, we lived in a constant state of anxiety and stress. So I thought, how hard can it be? Surely I can help them. That was what drove me to wanting to continue to keep growing the business because I knew there were so many more people that I could help and so much more impact that I could have on the community. So in the early stages, there was no formal training. I had started studying accounting at night um, and I had had a lot of on the job experience. I finished year 12 when I was 16, so I went straight into the workforce full time. Women in technology has a, a really close spot to my heart. I didn't know that I was in technology. And what I noticed was 70% of the workforce at my budget was women, except for in my technology team. We do not have very many women studying and working in the technology space. That's when I made it my side project to build up our team to at least 50-50 women and men because we were able to do it, maybe we could be a thought leader in that space and a role model for other businesses to do the same thing, which is why we started the Women in Technology event series. You know, hear from really inspiring, fantastic women in the technology space. There's hurdles every day. And to be honest, it's just part of running a business uh, and growing a business. There's juggling that if you're a, particularly if you're a female and you've got a family as well, it's on your mind all the time, even if you're not at work, even if you're not in the office. So juggling that with being able to pay attention to your children when they're, you know, when they need you, you know, when you get home from work and being able to, you know, switch off and do that. Balancing family and work life is always a challenge because sometimes, you know, the business might draw, need more of your attention at a certain time and sometimes the family might. It took me a long time to be okay with being a great mom and a great business leader and a great wife and a great friend, but not being perfect. Also for a lot of women, we strive to be perfect and especially in today's world. And it's when you're trying to be perfect that you stress yourself out with that whole work-life balance thing. So just be okay with being great and that's probably my best piece of advice around that. I find my inspiration from our clients. I get my inspiration from waking up every day and feeling good about what I do and feeling excited about what's ahead of me, even if it is a few challenging things and, you know, and problems that need to be solved. To think that the legacy that I'll leave behind is that we solved a lot of problems for a lot of people and I've created opportunities for all these people to have jobs that they get to do that too. Throughout this journey, I've learned that I'm more resilient than I ever knew, because things get thrown at me left, right and centre. I've learned that I'm capable also of more than I ever gave myself credit for. Uh, and I think as women, that's a generalisation, but quite often, you know, we underplay our abilities and our capabilities. You can't do it alone. Your team is absolutely crucial. The people that you surround yourself with, personally and professionally, are crucial. And you don't want to always have people that think the same as you. You want to have people that can constructively challenge you and think differently and be smarter than you in a lot of different ways and be different to you and bring that diversity of thought in. Life since joining my budget is just stress free. We don't talk about money, we don't worry about money. Hearing those client testimonials is what drives me and will keep on driving me. But I do think that there's a lot more. I don't think the journey's anywhere near being over. Of course, there has been some business awards along the way and they've certainly solidified, you know, the client's feedback, which has been fantastic. But that is not why I run this business. I don't run this business to be 
you know, the Businesswoman of the Year, which is really nice by the way, and I'm super grateful to have had that title, and I'm super grateful to have been nominated to be part of that award process because I've met some incredible people. Having that network has been fantastic. Our favourite quote is from Henry Ford, and it's, whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. The only way to make your dreams a reality is to have a plan and that's what I started to do is put that plan together piece by piece. Think about the long term but really work on the here and the now.